Hello, people. I'm Kirsten. Today we're going to talk about getting swole. Just kidding. Today we're going to talk about eight ways that I stay fit despite my crazy work schedule. In this video, I talked about making sure that the things you do in your life are addressing your priorities in a way that lets you have fun so you don't get bored or want to remove something that you think is important to you. So today I'm going to show you what I mean by that. Quick disclaimer, I'm blind. I did a lot of the filming myself in this video and there are some novice film techniques. It's fine, be nice to me. You got to smile for a second. See? We are headed to jujitsu. We go twice a week, sometimes three if we can manage it, if it works with our schedules. But again, it's all about balancing priorities and being flexible. Jujitsu is a place where I can get really the crap beat out of me, <laughs> but I can be the crap out of other people. And if you have a stressful day at work, I am telling you that there are few things that I enjoy more than going and throwing and choking someone in a way that's legal. It's pretty amazing. Anyway, uh, jujitsu is a great discipline. You get physical discipline, uh, muscle training, but also the ability to socialize and train with different sparring partners and learn different techniques. And it's just a really great thing to do. Plus I also go with Joe. So it's a fun activity to do with your partner if you guys are both into it. It's just a great way to spend time together during the week. So relationship goals, also checking off that list. I also wanna say before we hop into practice that um, if you're like me and had a disability or any other reason why someone would say no to you growing up your whole life, it's really invigorating to be an adult and do the things that you want to do. Um, in my case, know how to fight. And I've been able to do that and I have so much fun. And a lot of my fitness priorities go toward that goal of just being stronger and faster and better. And uh, so I'm very happy about that. And when I'm in practice, my doggy baby sits right at the table here. She gets tied and there's her bowl. And she just hangs out and watches while we do practice. Hey guys. Just finished practice. I didn't film in the dojo out of respect for the other training partners who certainly didn't consent to be in this video. Uh, I broke some people, got broken. My hair tie snapped, so sorry for the crazy hair. But you know what? It's gains. Definitely got some bruises today. But I'm gonna go to the locker room, do a gentle facial and chest cleanse with some micellar water and a cotton pad so I don't break out, because that's a really big concern of mine. Method is a group class. I am exhausted today. I had a lot of work, emails flying, tons of meetings. Came home and made salmon, I had a guitar lesson, and now I am going to go to class. I love it because my boyfriend Joe instructs them, and so I feel much more comfortable with the instructor, and I know that they know what to do. He, in this case, knows what to do to make sure that I know what the moves are really well and my dog will be very happy to see him. You find the stairs puppy? Let's go find the stairs. Let's go find the stairs. No, you're not supposed to do that. Hey, I'm ready for your class. <laughs> so we do it in the yoga room. Um, today's class is a core class. So the dog who just stays here, and I have my little mat. Everyone will be here in a second. And we all just kind of set up. Nice. Good. 
Tip number four, at least once a day, try to get out of your house and go on a walk. Walking is great for weight loss. The fresh air helps invigorate you and clear your head. At least it does for me anyway. And there's a couple times that you can do this. I have a lot of friends who have really busy work schedules, so they get out in the morning and just go on a walk in their neighborhood. Sometimes if you're on your way home and you decide to take the train instead of driving, if that's a thing you can do, then do that. Go on a quick walk before dinner with your dog, if you have a dog or a friend or your partner, whatever it is, just get outside a little bit. I also love to go during my lunch breaks. Lunch breaks are awesome for that because I bring my lunch anyway. I like to control what I eat and you know, it's a lot cheaper. And so I like to get outside during my lunch break. I walk with the dog and then I eat my lunch at my desk when I get back. And it all works out because I get outside for like 30 minutes, the dog gets exercise. They have to let me out with her anyway, unless they want some nice little decorations on the carpet. But um, yeah, getting outside and walking is just honestly so refreshing and it's really good for you. And sometimes that's all the time you have. You only have time for a quick walk, but any movement is better than no movement. Tip number five, rock climbing. We happen to live near a gym with rock walls. This is back at Earthstrex where Joe has his group classes, but the gym is mostly known for their climbing. So I've done two types of climbing here. Um, one of them wearing a harness and someone is on the ground with your ropes belaying you, and that's called top roping. The other type of climbing is called bouldering, and that's where you climb a rock wall, you don't have a harness or ropes, and you say a lot of prayers and hope that you don't fall, and then you get to the top and you just climb down to a height where you're comfortable falling. I get to the top of a bouldering wall and clench up and get really freaked out. Um, and so this is a fitness activity for me, but also something that is a challenge because I'm inherently terrified of falling off a rock wall. So <laughs> this is interesting. Um, and I'm going to do a course. I think I'll do the yellow rocks. My vision works best with contrast, so I'm gonna try and stay with the yellow ones and see how it goes. Tip number six, <laughs> grab some quick cardio. I live in an apartment and one of the things we look for in a building is whether it has a gym. Specifically for the reason that 
if you can't get outside or to another practice like jujitsu or a group class, you want to be able to still exercise. And sometimes I just want to power it out with a run. So I come here and I run. How does a blind person run on a treadmill? Well, you figure out where the arrows are, turn up the machine, and hope. Number seven, lift. I got a trainer a couple of years ago since I can't see. I have no idea what the right form is and I just thought I need a professional. So I hired him, he showed me how to do things in the gym and now I lift. And so at least once or twice a week if I can manage it, I come in here and I lift. And I think it's incredibly important good. Tip number eight is probably the most important. 80% of your physical fitness comes from the kitchen. I know it's annoying to say, but trust me, there are ways to get it done. People laugh at me because I think I really am obsessed with Costco, but it's because they're so cool. Look, you have things you can buy that help with this. Okay, cauliflower rice, huge bag, right? Nobody can eat this. But, they come individually portioned, so you can take some out, make them with meals. Same thing with salmon. Each little salmon in here is a different filet that's individually wrapped. Then you have frozen berries that you can buy for smoothies in the morning. These are organic. And they have a little seal on them so that they stay good and fresh and you can keep them in the freezer without worrying about them rolling all over the ground. Not that it's ever happened to me. And then you can get huge containers like this and fill them with quinoa. Costco also has organic quinoa. And so I fill this up and then when we are meal prepping, often I can make grains like quinoa or uh, rice. It's so fast to slice sweet potatoes. I'm just saying, that if you eat well for 80% of the time, then 20% of the time, you're allowed to have things like cookies. People shouldn't deny themselves. Not everyone's perfect. Oh my God. Oh my God. most of what you eat is healthy and wholesome and not processed, then you're doing really well. So leave a comment if any of this is helpful to you. Also leave a comment if you um, want to see my first Jiu Jitsu tournament. I feel like I should film that. I have no idea if I'll win. I don't know when it will be, but it'll be sometime this year. So let me know if you'd like to see that. Otherwise, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you would like to see anything else. And I hope at some point today, you have some time to take a deep breath, get rid of all the mess in your brain, and smile for a second. <laughs>